Alright, so I'm recording this, so I'll put this on YouTube later, and later we can talk about how useful this is. Uh, I'm going to start with 55, start at the back. <laughs> so, it's so this one. Alright, so they said, basically, can you split this into two functions? Uh, now, did they call this something else? They call this h of x. Let me fix that, because we're going to split it into an f and g. So let me erase that real quick. Let's call it h. Alright. So, well, what do you guys think? I could just spit out the answer, but give me, give me some ideas. And notice that the direction said there's more than one answer, maybe, right? Yeah? Uh, yeah I know it's cute, but can you do something like u square root? Uh, well, let's just start with the fact you know it's, you said you know it's cubed, all right? So let's start with that. Use a different color here. So, you guys see this okay? Uh, we have f of x and g of x, okay? And we're going to try to do... It's a light. Yeah, that is a little light. Uh, here we go. We're going to try to make it f of g of x, okay? And so the question is, we noticed last time that f of g of x and g of f of x sometimes come out to be different, okay? Uh, so... Why don't I not know your name yet? J. J said x said x cubed, right? X cubed. So I think that's a good idea. Which one should it be, though? And so the way you should answer that is when you look at f of g of x, g goes inside for f. So f is the last thing you do, okay? And if you were going to plug a number in for x at the beginning, if I plug in 1, what number do you get? 8. 8. How did you get 8? I plugged in 1 for x, 1 plus 1 is 2, cubed is 8. The last thing he did was cube. Right, he added one first, then he cubed it, okay? So that means that the last thing you do is cube, so that means that the cubing should be f or g? f, right, because f you do last. And so we're just going to call it x cubed, all right? And the trick here is that I'm writing x cubed because x is just a generic dummy variable, but x is not what we actually cubed. What did we actually cube? X plus 1. Is everybody okay with that? I don't get that. You don't get that? No. Uh, okay, so just forget about F and G for a second. Uh, look up at H, and okay. you see that X plus 1 is really what I'm cubing. Oh. And now we're splitting it into like a two-step process. Okay. The, we're splitting it up so that F, yeah, F has X written, but F of G of X means those X's for F are going to get replaced by G. And so if you look at F, and you look at the X cubed right here, and you take that x and you replace it with this, mm -hmm. that's exactly what h does, right? Okay. So h is a composition. You can also think about it with arrows. Let me use the next slide. f of g of x, where is that straight mark? f of g of x basically takes x, applies g, and then applies f, okay? okay. So you take x, you add 1, and then you cube that, right? And that was h of x. Everybody okay with that? That makes sense? Now, in this case, you could have had other answers, but they'd be kind of silly. What you don't want is you don't want those in the other order, but you could take x plus 1 to the 6th and then square root it or something silly like that. But what we did, I think, is the most natural answer. All right. So let me stop there. That was 55.